Yo guys, what is up? This is Nick. I am back for the final episode of this where we're just gonna rip some of these packs. I thought I'd show you guys this in case you were interested. So let's go ahead and open this one up first. This one's just called a reward pack. Also gives you 5,000 credits. Oh, okay, so that really only gives you 5,000 credits. Okay. Here we go. Metals reward pack. Commando grants the commando variant of the infantry gear. Ooh. I wonder what rarity that is. I don't know. Exposition Jacket Brawler grants the Expedition Jacket outfit and complete knowledge of the Brawler skill tree. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, equipped Rifle has all upgrades. That's pretty cool. Uh, faster Bandaging and Health Regen. And grants all Tier 1 Survivor skills. Wow. Actually pretty good. It's always kind of fun to look at these and uh, just see how fun it would be to impact. I don't know. I might actually play some of that. I played on the one, but endless mag, instant reloading when weapon exit, <laughs> that's really nice. Um, toxicity, grants unlimited poison arrows, wow. Wow. Remnant jacket adventure, grants the remnant jacket, and the first tier of the hunter, brawler, and survivor skill tree. Wow. Bow sniper, no bow skills, but bow has increased damage and zoomed. Uh, start with no ammunition, empty magazines. Plus 100% to your score. Kind of cool. Okay, up in flames pack. We got slow burn reduces rate of ammo consumption. Grants the infiltrator gear. Enemies that land a melee attack have a chance of bursting into flames. Backfire. Uh, Pyromaniac gain unlimited fire arrows but less total health. Uh, Capri? Or Capri? Uh, enemies are always on fire and immune to fire damage. That's pretty cool. This is Plans Run a Foul Pack. Uh, gray Henley Shirt grants the gray... Wow, okay, wow. Wow, what a, what a great card. Kaboom, Crafted Explosives have an increased blast radius. Cluck Cluck, the bleeding edge of poultry-based warfare. <laughs> what? Does that mean you fire... Wait. <laughs> Do you shoot chickens instead of arrows now? Eagle Eye. Nearby enemies and animals glow through obstacles when Survival and Seek is activated. Thrown chickens explode on impact. Wow, how fitting. Is this all chicken related? No, Kaboom's not and the Henley's not, but... Three things kind of chicken related there. Life and Death Pack. Sacra Umbra Armor. Um, enemies will always dodge melee attacks, so you can't melee. Uh, dying ends the replay immediate. Oh my gosh, one life to live. Uh, big head enemies. Enemies have larger, large heads and take less da body damage, so headshots only pretty much. Uh, fast recovery, faster bandaging. I think I already have that. I'm not going to mess with selling it. Uh, player appreciation pack for completing the campaign. Deep pockets, all resources and ammo capacity are significantly increased. Tank top. Gambler enemy corpses might explode when looted. Oh, great. Big head Lara. Lara's head is huge. <laughs> Making you more immune to headshots. Time slows down near enemies that die to arrow. Okay. Campaign award. Survivor pack. Medic. Bandaging is faster and has a chance to not consume resources. That's pretty nice. Adrenaline stealth kills earn temporary invincibility. Uh, first aid health regeneration is disabled. Use bandages to heal. A uh, half vampire melee kills instantly regenerate health, but bandages cannot be used. Wow, that's kind of cool. An expedition jacket. I think the stars at the top it shows how rare it is. So the expedition jacket seems to be super rare. Not entirely sure why. You can't even sell it. Maybe it's just like a special item. Okay, now we can rip some packs. Let's start out at the bottom here with a challenge pack. What do we got in here? Okay, empty mags. I already have that. Iron Heart. Enemies take significantly to less damage. Prize Fighter. Deal more melee damage, but bleed when damaged by melee attacks. Battle Hardened. Faster bandaging and passive healing, but enemies take significantly less damage. Armor Plated. Enemies have double their base armor strength. Wow. Wild pack. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, time slows down near enemies that die to arrows. 
No leftovers, no ammo boxes to pick up. Dying ends the replay. Okay, we already had that. Hunter sense time slows when the bow is fully drawn. And we've already had half vampire. Advantage pack. So this is all going to be helpful for you, I think. Uh, Molotov fire just burn for twice as long. Uh, enemies have large heads and take... Le okay, so that... Look at how much that sells for. Holy crap. A slow burn reduces rate of ammo consumption. Uh, extra mags, carry capacity, and uh, quick pistol and rifle are suppressed. Is there a way to look at your cards and sell them? How do you do that? Is it, do you have to go within here? Within... Okay. Okay, so here is the... Now, how do you... Well, I don't exactly know how you, uh... Okay, so here's the cards. Okay. So how do you tell if you have a dupe? Okay, I guess it doesn't really show you if you have... Okay, so there's Half Vampire. Can sell that. Okay, we'll come back here after I finished opening all my packs. And then we'll sell, and then we can open up some more. Alright, let's, we open the advantage. Let's open a silver pack now. Gas trap. Enemies have a chance of releasing a cloud of poison gas when they die. Military assault rifle 2 grants, okay. Stopping power. Equipped pistol is fully upgraded. Pistol ammo pickups are all hollow point rounds. Wow. Uh, grants all tier 1 hunter skills and enemy corpses. Okay, we already got that. Let me sell that. Okay, let's go sell, and then this could work out well if I can get enough to open up one gold pack. I know there's achievements for these, but I'm not really worried about that. Wait, these have the exact same effect. Why would I keep this one? It sells for so much more. Okay, hold on. So these, the nice thing about this is they kind of... Oh, I don't want all. Permanent. Okay, I don't know why I would keep that exposition jacket. Oh, you can't even sell any of the clothing ones. Okay, so shotguns, no reason to sell that. Stock assault rifle. Okay, so most of these things you can't even sell. Huh, like all of them you can't sell. <laughs> Enemy sh okay, here we go. Okay, none of those I could sell. Okay, I can sell one of these. I could just sell everything, to be honest, because I'm not going to play on this. I'm not going to play on 360, just so we could open up a gold. I might just sell the most expensive stuff, so we can open up one gold. Player weakening. Yeah, let's just go ahead and sell a bunch of stuff until we get to that that uh, money threshold. Let me go ahead and sell this since it's worth so much. Yeah, we're gonna have no problem getting that. I think it's 60k. Okay, player weakening. We got two of these to sell. I want to see what the gold one has in it, because I'm kind of curious now. I think you can play Expedition Mode, and that's really how you get a lot more coins to use. It takes such a long time to sell everything. Okay. We're getting close. I'm not going to mess with selling the 400 ones. That's just going to make this take longer. Alright, come on. I probably should edit this out, but I'm not going to because I've kind of talked while doing this. Almost there. Just need 1,400 more. Just need one more silver. There it is. Alright. Now... Marketplace, one gold pick, to end it off. 
What are we going to get in here? Okay, heavy pistol. Stock pistol. Okay, makeshift bow 3 comes with the level 1 and 2 upgrades. Full auto shotgun. Grants full auto shotgun with level 1 upgrades. Makeshift bow 2. And the, the cluck cluck thing again. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for Rise of the Tomb Raider, at least for now on my channel. We may very well come back and play this again in the future. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys in the next Let's Play. Peace out.